in the continuity of the previous module about uh, placket Berman design that uh, just to analyze the stage in analyzing the data as we mentioned in our previous table that uh, the using the Nelson examples in 1982 that is mostly you can see here just we have to determine the difference between the average of high and the low responses to each independent and the dummy variable. So the difference you can see in this formula that the summation of A all the response of high values and then minus by the summation of A with the low value response. What is meant by this? High response and low response. So as we have seen this table in a previous module. So if we say that uh, in case of the A category high these four different either we have to sum up 1.1, 1 .1, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and 1.1. These are the summation of A with high response and Alternatively to these other fours with L 6.3, 1.26 1 and 1.4. These are the summation of A with the lower response as by the formula which we have uh, seen uh, here in our this slide. So just with all the variables you can see in this table this table is the analysis of the yield and the response in case of the high as well as the low. You can see this, that high response and the low response in, a, in each case, in case of A, in case of B, in case of C, D and F and E and G are two dummy variables. So high response in A is 3.9 and in case of low response is 14.9 and just the difference we cannot ignore the sign so minus 11.0 minus 0 0.6 and 9.2 and minus 0 0.4 these are the difference in this line we have just calculated the difference by the formula which we have seen in our previous slide so then we have to calculate the effect and then the mean skewer. What is the formula of the mean skewer error? That is the basically when we calculate the mean skewer that is 0 0.05 and 0 0.02. These are the mean skewer for error because E and G are the dummy trials though it can maximum designated as the error that exists in this experiment. So by this we have the value 0 0.0325 as a mean skewer error in this whole design. So you can see here just to calculate the effect we have to use these two formulas delta A uh, sorry summation A with high response over divided by 4 then minus summation A with low response divided by 4 and then by rearranging this equation then this is though. So these are the two formulas by which we can calculate the effect of each variables. So this value should be near 0 for the dummy variables. Either that should be 0 or below that 0. So when we say that effect then we have to estimate the mean scare of each variables. So as concern the mean skewer of each variable we have to utilize this formula summation A with high response minus summation A with low response and the skewer of that divided by 8. So then as we have already seen then we have to calculate the mean skewer for error that we have already seen in our previous slides while talking about uh, the table. Here you can see that uh, we have to calculate the F test value just by uh, calculating 
by this formula. That's factor mean square divided by error mean square. So in each case, when we have the factor mean square, in case of A divided by the mean square, then we have the value of 465.4. In case of B variable, we have the value of 400. In case of C, we have 1.538. In case of D, that is 0. And in case of F, that is 325.6. So by this placard berman design, while dealing with the five different variables and two dummy variables, we came to know that the variable A, B, and uh, F are very significant because they have a very high F value. In case of A, that have 465.4. In case of B, that has 400. And in case of F, that has 325. So you can see the pattern of significance. But in uh, these C and D variables have less significance. So just by controlling A, B, and F, we can have a design the medium just by controlling these different variables. So this is the method and a design which can reduce the number of experiment that is uh, mostly used while taking about uh, the classical approach. placard berman design reduced the number of experiment. Not now, apart from the placard berman design, there is also a modern approaches, response surface methodology, there are so other statistical approaches by which we can reduce, we can have a less labor and less input while optimizing different parameters. So there are different uh, graphs and different uh, representations of the data by which we can know the significant point of any industrial fermentation. Just by knowing different contour plot, different response surface methodologies, approaches, we can have uh, the media optimization in a very limited number of experiments rather to use a laborious technique of uh, classical approach having the number of trials in fermentation optimization.